This past fall, the Doherty Arts Center has sustained some major damage. The South Austin Community Center has to relocate its children's programs to a separate wing of the building. KXAN's Alex Capriello shows us the extent of the damage and the lingering concerns for the people that walk the halls. It's a great location and they offer so many great things. Essential part of learning in the area. For over four decades, families have walked through these doors. They provide a service to the local schools for parents to allow them to work and also to supplement the education systems. But the Doherty Art Center has reached its shelf life, leaving behind some unwanted watercolors. This is one of the children's dance rooms. We're on a suspended wood floor that sustained a little bit of water damage from water sort of migrating in through the roof membrane and, and through the ceiling cavities. Ceiling tiles have warped, molded, and cracked. Two by fours hold up the roof in troubled spots. The entire children's wing now off limits. We've got some temporary protections in place that have helped, um, but we've also got some conditions that need to be addressed and cleaned and properly repaired. With fears of an additional harmful threat, there's a high likelihood that some of the mastic on the roof is asbestos containing. The Parks and Recreation Department considers the future for the community hub. This building has uh, lived a long life and uh, we're working towards a replacement now. So any solution we put in place here would be uh, temporary by nature. $128 million from the past 2018 bond will go towards a replacement center. It's not clear how much the new center will cost or where it'll be, but for now, Parks and Rec is doing what it can to get the Creativity Center back on its feet. As long as it's running and they're able to make the repairs, then definitely we'd be more than willing to keep coming back. Alex Capriello, KXAN News. Butler Shores is being considered for the next center. That's a little more than half a mile away from the Dory Arts Center. They are still uh, in, there are still rather, several logistical challenges ahead, including final approval from City Council. There's no timeline yet for when those plans might come together.